Hey guys, this is MacHeads101, and I just showed you how to make fire in Photoshop, so now I'm going to be showing you how to make water. So you can just go down to Photoshop, open it up. Okay, now you're going to go to File, New. You can make it um, 1000 by 700, and click OK. Now we're going to have this nice canvas to play around with. So first thing we're going to go ahead and do is go to Filter and then go down to render and just say clouds now I know that doesn't look much like water now but just deal with me stick with me it's gonna look like water when we're done go to filter now go to blur and we're gonna select a radial blur right there okay what this is going to do is this going to like rotate our s and spin our whole thing. We're going to select the best quality. Well, you don't have to, but you can do that. And um I'm going to make the about the amount about uh 40. So that way it really spins up our image. So now it might take a little while since we select the best quality. It shouldn't take too long. Hold on. Okay, so now it kind of spinned it up, but it still doesn't look that much like water. So we can go down to Filter, and then go to Sketch, and then you can go down to Bass Relief. This is going to, um, like, kind of lift up the parts so it looks more three-dimensional. And then you can make the details at about 13 or 14, and your smoothness um, wherever it looks good. Just so you just bring these around wherever you like them. I like it at around three. Then you select OK. Now this looks kind of like like a uh, droplet, but it doesn't look like wet and 3D enough. So to make it really look like water, we're gonna go to Filter, Sketch, and then we're gonna go to Chrome. Now as you can see, this really makes it like wet and a nice feel. But it might do it a bit too much, so you can just go down to detail and bring that down a little. And smoothness, wherever you think it looks good. I'm going to bring the detail to 2 and the smoothness to about 9. There we go. Now, so now this really looks like water, but who's ever seen gray water? Well, not me. So what you can do is you can go to image adjustments and then you can go to hue and saturation wherever it is there we go or you can press apple U. first thing you want to do is select colorize that will colorize your image and um, in Photoshop CS4 it'll bring it it'll select it it'll show you what color you want so I'm gonna bring it to blue you can mess with the lightness so I'm gonna make it a little bit darker and you can select the how much it applies it I'm gonna make it around 20 and just click OK so now we got this basic feel for water if you want to give it even more of a watery feel what you can do is you can just reverse your colors or, or take go to the standard colors say OK now you can um, click the eraser tool right click make it a uh, pretty big like around 250 and make the hardness zero and you can just click and that will like shine up that piece wherever you clicked so yeah I hope this helped thank you for watching and goodbye